Hey guys, so today I want to talk about murders at Carvel Manor. Yeah, it sucks. It's been losing money. Hopefully no one's buying cases of this product from YouTube influencers. But nonetheless, this is not a product I would recommend buying. Buy these singles. It's even more true today than it was when I was playing. Uh, back when I was playing, you could probably get close to breaking even on a box. Now, there's no chance in hell. I mean, there's no chance. And, and the problem is the boxes are much more expensive. Back in my day, when I was in high school or at NYU or even in law school, William Mary Law School, we would buy boxes for $100. Rip them, have a fun, have a fun time. These boxes, man, they're not worth $150. They're like... How can I put this? It doesn't matter what they put in the box because the price will always kind of, unless the, the cards are just broken, the price will always just stabilize uh, from the pre-orders. The pre-order price for 95% of the cards will be the highest the card will ever be in its lifetime. So we are seeing a significant drop off. I'm going to show you some more graphs and you're going to puke a little bit because Oh, yikes, man. I mean, this set is just not it, man. It is not it. It's not even close to being it. So anyone promoting this set as a investment vehicle of any type, I don't know what you're seeing. I seriously don't know what you're seeing. The play boosters are not doing well. So, I mean, maybe there's like, you know, hair. But then you can look at the collector boosters, right? So you might argue, hey... The reason that Carlo, Carlo Manor is not doing well is because we got Blade Boosters and they're expensive and people don't want to buy. Okay, point taken. Well, the Collector Boosters, when compared to other Collector Boosters, are still doing very, very poorly. So I don't really see, I don't really see um, this going well for anybody. You can see the sharp drop. I'm going to, it's actually not on this graph, but there's, trust me, you can go in TZD Player, there is a, sharp decline and it's still going down man like i don't know why you would invest in in these products anymore a dual land is first of all the s p 500 has hit new highs yet again um i think it's been hitting new highs for the last two months non-stop so a, a true investment would be that and it's easy to sell but if you did have to invest in magic cards, if you were forced to do it, right? Somebody forced you to do it. I would probably suggest dual lands. Dual lands or all the time. I mean, yeah, oh, here's a price graph. Yeah. Yikes. Drop from 220 to 180 overnight. Yeah, uh, this is what happens to pre-order. I don't know why people would buy a pre-order and then expect it to go up in price. That's just not historically. It's really rarely ever happened that way. Magic cards are just simply not investable. I, I hate to tell people this, but they're not. Not at this stage. Not this type of card. Not new non reserveless cards. I couldn't make an argument that this is actually the worst type of investment. Uh, because liquidity is so so low and you're always always going to lose. 99% of the time, if you make a pre-order, you will lose the, car, the the price of the pack or the price of the single cards will go down in price. There Again, we've done this enough to know this time and time again. So I don't know why people are hyping these sets up when you just wait two weeks. It's like 25% off. You wait a few months. If you can wait two to three months, it's going to be 50, 60% off. Yeah, maybe you need the cards today, but you can wait. You can wait. It's EDH, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Everyone just plays EDH now. And you look at the card prices. It's like, what's in this? So this is the pre-sale. Like, what could possibly be in a $200 plus collector booster box that would make it worth it? Anime cards? Okay, they, they tried that before. I mean, the play booster is just such a bad idea. I hate it. It's such a, it, it's just a way for them to, 
it, it literally is a standard booster with extra stuff in it, but they're charging more money. Like people, the customers are not stupid, guys. The customers are not idiots. You cannot keep treating the customers as if they're idiots. Straight up. Like this is pretty obnoxious. This is very, very bad behavior on which the coast part, Hasbro. I get it. They need to make their money. Money is tight right now for Hasbro. They've been laying off people. Oof. This is a bad investment, guys. This is a bad investment. Maybe 20 years, but like that's like way down the line. No one can hold this shit for 20 years. Like, you know? It's just sitting in our closet for 20 years. And one day it goes up 10%. And then Rudy makes a video. Hey, guys, I told you so. <laughs> that was so stupid, man. I can re... Oh, man, I had a funny chat with uh, one of Rudy's... I don't know if it's like a friend, but he was like... Um, he had dinner with Rudy one time, physically. So they've actually met. And uh, just hilarious stuff he was talking about last night. Anyway, hi, guys.